Hi guys, in this video, I am going to solve two problems. If you are using BSNL fiber uh, broadband connection and you have two problems. First one is like you are not able to change your password. And another is like uh, if uh, some other users are connected to your broadband connection, your Wi-Fi and how you can block them or maybe uh, how you can blacklist uh, those MAC addresses. So I will be showing you step by step. You just follow this video and you will definitely solve both these issues. And uh, uh, of course, uh, in this website, actually, they have uh, also the problems. So I will be telling you the solutions that how you can get rid of each of the problem which we have. So first of all, uh, you can see this interface and I'm going to log out this. And first of all, you need to uh, go to the IP address 192.168.1.1. So for example, I'm writing again 192.168.1.1. So this IP address is already written uh, on the back side of your uh, router. So I'm just showing you the screenshot. So you can see that on the back side of the router, you will have uh, all the details like username and passwords. So you just copy that password uh, username and password over here and click on login so once you are logged in then you will be getting this screen so let's see that how many users are connected to your internet so once you are uh, clicking on this lan you can see over here this lan inside the status then you will be getting all the details of your connected uh, users and everything so currently i am only one uh, who is connected with this internet so let me uh, connect one more user and for example i'm connecting my mobile phone so wait for a while so i have just connected and uh, currently you can see that only one device that is my laptop and if i am refreshing this and let me go to the LAN once again. Once this page is loading successfully, then you can see that one more device has been connected now. So this is my mobile phone. So I am interested to uh, blacklist this mobile phone. Uh, uh, in some cases, there are other people who are using VPN or maybe some uh, in some way uh, they uh, get your passwords. So how you can block them? So this is the MAC address. This is the IP address and let me tell you what you will be doing here is you will be uh, going to the security and here you need to click on mac filter so currently you can see that mac filter and here you need to enable this so if you will enable you will be getting all the things disabled so how you will be uh, solving this problem is you should click on apply so on the bottom you will have the button apply so once you will be clicking that then these things are now enabled so what you have to do is you have to add the uh, mac address so again you should go to status and here we have the lan once you are clicking on lan and then you have to scroll it down and here i have this mac address so i am going to copy this mac address from here and then after again i am going to security and here i have mac filter and let me add over here so you should click on add button and here this is uh, my phone so you should uh, give the name according to your choice for example there are uh, some uh, other uh, galaxy or maybe some other type of phones so you can also name them uh, over here this this name doesn't matter you can uh, change any change with any name and then you have to paste that mac address over here so i have just pasted that mac address and then uh, on the bottom there is a button which is apply so click on this button so now this specific phone is blocked i mean uh, they uh, that phone cannot uh, use over wi-fi all right so this is enabled so for example if you are interested to whitelist this or maybe uh, remove this so you should select this and then uh, click on delete all right so for example i am going to click on delete then you can see that uh, 
uh, that phone has been removed from here and now uh, that phone uh, will be able to access the internet so if I am adding again then again I have to add the name and add the MAC address so you should paste that MAC address and then after you need to click on apply so all the list of the uh, devices would be shown over here so for example you have multiple uh, devices like laptops and other uh, desktops so you can also copy those uh, mac addresses and add it over here so how you will be getting is like click on status click on lan and then you will be getting all the connected devices to your internet so here down below currently i had two uh, devices and one i have just blacklisted and another already connected this is my laptop itself so now i have another uh, issue which i need to solve and that is how to change the password so actually uh, one of the person who was uh, from the department he said to me that uh, i need to change the uh, change the uh, password by clicking on maintenance and then i have this old password new password and confirm but i have tried here for example i am writing here my old password and now i am interested to add the new password and then if you are clicking on apply then I was getting this error which was original entered password error the password setup failed so actually I was frustrated from this error and finally I end up with the solution so I thought that uh, maybe you will be also getting this type of error and how you can get rid of this error alright so let me tell you how I solved this error you should click on network and click on WLAN uh, w l a n so once you are clicking on that then you have the option of wpa pre shared key so here would be the old password so you need to modify here with the latest one so i am going to add here my uh, latest password actually i am interested to change the password so here i have written the latest password I mean the modified password which I am interested to use now and I have removed the old password and then after if you are interested to change the name you can also uh, change the name of your uh, uh, Wi-Fi so for example I have SSD 1-2.4G uh, for example I am just clicking on this Wi-Fi network then you can see that this is the name which is showing on my Wi-Fi and I am interested to change this so for example I am removing this and adding here 2 SSID 2 alright and let me click on apply so once you will be applying then uh, after that this uh, my password would be changed automatically so let me refresh this page I have refreshed the page and now you can see that the in no int there is no internet I mean the password has been changed and internet has been disconnected alright and you can see that we have the option of SSID 2 so this is the uh, this is the Wi-Fi name which I have just modified and you can also see that we have uh, no internet so let me connect it once again with the new password so it will ask me for the new password So I have uh, added the new password and then click on next and I have to wait for a while and then this would be connected automatically. So yeah now we can access the internet so internet is connected. So this is connected and you can see that this page has been automatically refreshed and for example I am uh, logging in once again and you can see that now I can access this and if I will click on LAN I will be getting the connected devices over here so currently uh, once I have modified the uh, password then only single device has been connected which is my laptop itself 
all right so this was really simple but uh, i was frustrated from the problem so i thought that uh, there are multiple people who are using these type of uh, uh, i mean broadband connection and they will be facing such type of issue so i had to share this problem with you that how you can solve this and uh, because in some time uh, the team member of the organization like bsnl they are also working uh, with other issues so maybe they are not getting the time for us so this was the way that i found and i have to i had to share with you also because you should also solve this problem by yourself without uh, taking the help of others so thank you so much for watching this video if you are thinking that this video was useful just like this uh, video and also uh, comment down below and uh, subscribe this channel as well because in the coming videos i will be adding lot of good stuff on to this youtube channel and definitely i try my best to solve the problems and share with the other people so thanks once again let me confirm you that the the things are working or not so for example i am clicking on youtube so now youtube is working so that means my internet is connected all right so this was just for the confirmation and you can also see on the right hand side uh, i have modified the wi-fi name so ssid2 so this is the latest one which i have just uh, entered in front of you all right so everything is working fine so now we can move ahead and use our internet so thanks thank you once again uh see you in the next video thank you so much for watching this video all the links of my video courses are below in the description which are absolutely free so in the next video we would learn new and wonderful things please subscribe this channel firstly to get the information of updated videos in the comment section you can write your feedback about the video and also write your queries if you have any have a nice day ahead